Hello friends and welcome to my first tutorial. Okay, so you guys want to learn how I edited this picture here. All right, well, let's reset everything that I've done so far to this picture. Boom, okay, we have this very plain and boring looking picture so far. It actually looks pretty cool, not that boring, but let's make it much more exciting. Um, you guys are going to get an inside look as to what my steps are in all of my pictures. Even though this is a unique one, this is, you know, at night, this is completely different camera settings. Um, but my editing process is usually the same. So I usually start off almost from top to bottom. Um, with the Milky Way shot here, uh, you can see some orange right here. Um, the sky is kind of has like an orange yellow tint, which is not what I'm going to go for with the picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is color correct it. I mean, sorry, correct the white balance. And let's actually bring the exposure up to see what that does. So I'll double click it so you can see what it was like when it started. And now that is kind of what I'm going for. <clears throat> okay. Um, now the biggest thing here is you can see definitely have highlights, which would be the stars in the center of the Milky Way, especially around here where you can see the contrast between the shadows, the blacks right here, and the highlights of the Milky Way. So I want to exaggerate that, but not just by bumping the contrast up. So I'll actually go to the highlights. Ooh, really bring those up. Okay, yeah, we've gone pretty far. Shadows, um, I'm actually going to leave that for now because yeah, it's not really moving the exact part that I want it to. I'm going to leave it right there. Blacks, I want a little more contrast in this picture. There we go. Nice. Um, I always want the vibrance up quite a bit and then bring the saturation down a decent amount. So as you can see, let's do a quick before and after. That's already a huge part of the picture. Yeah, that looks really good. Now, what I really want to do before I move on to any of this stuff is I'm going to do some actual local adjustments. So I'm going to, sorry, let me explain that tool. I go up here, grab the radial tool, click on it. I can drag it, make it whatever shape, whatever size I want. I'm going to make it like this, bring it over in this here area to focus on the central part of the galaxy, the Milky Way, boom, okay, I'm going to hit invert because I want to be working inside this, not outside, and I will bump the clarity up, clarity just kind of exaggerates details, I don't really use it in my pictures, I actually almost always have it in the negatives in most of my pictures, but with certain parts, I like to bump it up. Okay. Highlights. And let's take a look at what D. Hay is going to do to us here. Do I like it? Mm, a little bit. Okay. Whites. Boom. And double hit enter. Brought out the, the galaxy a little bit. Galactic core is what it's called. Um whole picture do I want clarity hmm. I'm going to leave that here minus three okay now we're gonna jump into the tone curve what I do here typically is make a general s curve which is this kind of shape right here but with this picture it's gonna really chop up those blacks so I'll be very careful with the blacks here. Okay, mid-tones. There's no mid-tones really. Actually, we're picking up, yeah. Boom, that looks good. That looks awesome. I like that. That's kind of what I do with all of my adjustments. I just move it in very small increments, sometimes literally by one or two points. 
and just to see exactly where I like it. There's never really like a, oh, it's always this, it's always that. Every picture I play around with things and see where it falls into what I like, and that's basically how you develop your style. You just, you just move knobs around until you like what you see, and when you look at the end result, that's gonna be something that you like in general. Okay, um, hue, saturation, and luminance. So hue, there's a lot of blues. There's a couple oranges, purples, and yellows buried in here, I know. I'm gonna bring those out. Um, so hue, I wanna make the yellows. There should be some in here. Let me bring the saturation. No? Orange, where are you at? There's usually orange hanging out in here. I'm gonna bring all these colors out. Yeah, okay, so a lot of this is being picked up as purple. Let's make it a little more on the red. Okay. I actually don't like all this blue, so I'm gonna desaturate the blue a little bit. And another way to desaturate a, um, a color is to bring up the luminance of that color. And that actually just makes those blues look a little more white. <clears throat> All right. I'm not going to touch any of that there. Highlights. I didn't find any oranges in here in the galactic core, so I'm going to add them with split toning. So I'm going to go to the highlights. 35 is my hue, which is an orange. Boom. We have a lot more color contrast in, in here. And this is really the focus of my image right here where I'm standing the peak of the sand dune. All this right here is nice background stars. I would have loved to have a nice foreground in this picture, but that's what we got. Okay. Um, let's bring down that a little bit more. Um, here we go, sharpening. This is kind of something that I do on these pictures with a lot of noise and stars. I hit the option key and just modify how much of this picture I want to be sharpened. Noise reduction is key when you're shooting at 3200 ISO, so not too, too much. Look at that. We pretty much have our end result. I'm actually going to come in here, though, and do this graduated filter. I want to bring down the highlights on the outside of the picture without doing a vignette so that you have more focus on the middle of the picture. And the way I can feather this more is by bringing this line out more. And it's a little more subtle. Do it on this side. Okay. So now the focus is right in the middle. This stuff right here is kind of being blackened out to just really exaggerate this Milky Way. Okay. Um, and I want to balance out some colors. So I will go here to the color calibration panel. And I think that I need to adjust, yep, green primary a little bit, and red, boom, get a little bit more of what we wanted, except now there's more blue in the picture, bring that down, I still want more orange in here, so what I'm going to do is actually go to the middle. I exaggerated my my radial filter and now I'm gonna add warmth. Not too much. There we go. That's what I like. Make this look a little more natural. Feather it a little bit more. And eek a little more warmth in there. Seven, maybe seven's too much, six. Okay. Boom. Okay. Next. Nice and simple. Crop it. Four by five. Instagram crop. I'm trying to make sure we have all the galaxy in there. I'm not as high as I would have wanted to be, but that's what we get. Okay, and if you guys thought that was it. Uh, you are mistaken. We export the picture now. Alright, we got the picture in Photoshop. And this is where a lot of color correction goes. Um, let's 
do selected color and color balance. So these are the two tools I bring up first, always in a picture. I usually start with selective color first. So that just basically does kind of what it, what its name implies. So reds, you are doing stuff only to the reds. Um, cyans, you are doing stuff only to the cyans. Okay. Magentas taking the cyan out of them, which would mean making them even more magenta. Um, okay, so so I typically start with blacks, but I don't really don't think I'm gonna mess with that too much in this picture because I just, there's just like way too much black on here. And if I add a color, I think it's just gonna make it look way too weird. Um, so if anything, just leave everything at zero except for the yellow. I like that a little bit. One. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the yellows. Um, I'm going to definitely bring cyan out of them to make them even more yellow. Magenta makes yellows a little more of an orange tone. Add yellow. I mean, that exists. Okay. Reds. Same thing. Get a cyan out of it, add some magenta, bring a lot more yellow into the reds, and okay, not a huge difference, but I definitely notice it down here. I see some more purples and reds that I really liked. All right, color balance, midtones. Let's start there. That's going to be the center part right here. A little more red. Magenta. Too much magenta, I feel like, gives a fake look to pictures, but sometimes it works. In this picture, it's not going to work. Okay. And not too much yellow. That's going to start to make it look warm. All right. Highlights. Yellow highlights. We'll leave that there. I started whispering. <laughs> you get too focused. Boom. That's a nice difference too. Okay. Okay. Now let's bounce into one more adjustment. I'm going to add some brightness and contrast. That looks good for brightness. Contrast just a little bit. It's kind of looking flat now. And that looks fantastic. That I just added it. a lot more pop for sure. With the color balance that I did, select the color that I did. I think we got a great image here. I love it. I really like the colors that um, that we brought out that were there. We didn't add any fake colors. We didn't brush on anything on. We just kind of brought out what was already there, amplified it. Let's compare this to the one that I posted. Yes, let's replace that. Okay, this is the one I just did right now, and this is the one I posted. Now, posted, very similar picture, uh, cropped it a little differently, but as you guys can see what the process was like, um, pretty much the same, I brought out a lot of colors that you didn't originally see. Let's go back to the original photo, one more time, boom. So this is our before and after in Lightroom. We brought it over to Photoshop. This is our before and after. So this is after Lightroom. That's after Photoshop. Bam! Nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. All right, well, that was it for the tutorial for today. Really hope that that was informational for you guys. Um, I definitely just went through step by step pretty much what I go through for every picture. I do pretty much everything in Lightroom and then do a little bit of color grading in Photoshop just to get everything right where I like it. Um, if there's anything that was confusing or that you want to hear more videos about, see more videos about, just leave a comment below and I will get to it. Thank you guys for watching and see you later.